Good morning. Welcome to my vlog. This morning I'll be taking a photograph of North Hill, which is on the Malvern Hills. It's now four o'clock in the morning. Um, sunrise should be about another 20, 30 minutes. So I've got a little bit of walk to do and hopefully we'll get a nice sunrise. Oh, slug. Okay, I've just stopped to take a quick photograph, a um, quick panorama of about seven or eight photos to try and capture some of the cloud that was going across the path. That's uh, not the shot I came for, but it was a quick grab because I don't think the sun's going to rise for a bit. It's a big, thick, heavy cloud on the horizon. Bouted Galloways um, and occasionally sheep to help graze the hills and try and keep all the vegetation down. So you generally see quite a bit of wildlife. Okay. Um, the sunrise will be just over there. So it doesn't look too promising at the moment. But uh, According to the weather app last night that I was looking at, it was supposed to be quite clear. But with the wind being quite strong today, hopefully it might blow the clouds away. There's still a chance for a shot. Right, I've now got to the beacon, um, which is the highest part of the Malverns. Um, I have to say that the Malvern Hills are probably the most remote part of Worcestershire, so you have to be careful about um, being on your own, and there uh, could be lots of wildlife around. What the f are those? Okay, um, right, we're near the, the location I want to shoot now. The cloud is breaking up where the sun is rising, and the sun has, has actually risen now. And you can see, hopefully, just behind me, you've got to pick up the sun rays. So there is a big cloud just where the sun is at the moment. So I'll set up and hopefully there might be a little bit of a gap in the clouds and I can get my shot. Just managed to get a quick shot um, from the beacon up there uh, looking towards North Hill. Uh, the clouds are looking absolutely stunning. Um, a really beautiful summer. Okay, the sun's just broken through the clouds, um, so I'm going to take my shot now. I don't know if you can see on the back of the screen, but I've taken a few shots um, and I'll see if I can show you what I've done. Okay, it's quite bright in places, so I have followed the contour of the hills around. 
um, with the neutral density filter to try and balance the sky with the foreground. Um, I find it easier to do that when it's in when the camera's in portrait mode. The sky is quite bright, especially over by the sun, so I've put a neutral density and graduated filter, um, and this one's three stops. So when I'm doing a panorama, because if you see the hills behind me, they're kind of hill shaped, so I have to move the graduated filter up and down each time I move the the camera around. Okay. The settings that I have on the camera are f16 and a thirteenth of a second for each one of those. Um, I always shoot in manual mode when doing panoramas because when you move it around, if it's in automatic, you'll get different exposures and they won't stitch together. So I've got my photo now. Unfortunately, the clouds have disappeared, but hopefully there's enough interest in the sky to make an image there. So we'll see what I've got on the computer. What a beautiful morning. And I'm really glad I got out of bed. That's pretty cool. Just managed to get a, a south portrait of uh, the sun shining through the, the cloud, uh, creating a little mini rainbow around me. That's my aura. I wish people would clear up after their dogs.